Hey guys, it's Bella and Anthony. And today I'm going to be teaching Anthony how to draw a mandala. Because it's supposed to be very soothing and calming, and he doesn't know how. So maybe you can be taught too. Yeah. Okay, what? Hey guys! Hey guys! I'm on a live chat with um, one of the big YouTubers. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he just gave an always think positive shout out. <gasps> yes! Yeah! Yay! Okay, so after we've had that amazing achievement, news. amazing news, amazing achievement, we're going to clear out, move these, and Anthony's going to learn how to draw a window, and maybe you are too. Okay. Anthony's going to be drawing with colored pencils or a pencil, and I'm going to be drawing with Sharpie since I know what I'm doing and might not have to struggle a little as much. So, first thing you're going to do is pick whatever you want to use. So, I'm using a Sharpie. Can you pick your color, or do you want to use a pencil? Pencil. Okay, so I can put a pencil in here. As you can tell, I love my colored pencils and Sharpies. Yeah, bro. Okay, so first... You're going to draw, start by drawing a circle in the middle of your page. Or big. However big you want. Okay, so you got your circle. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we all know how to draw circles. Kind of obvious. <laughs> but one thing I want to teach you, so You're up gonna here. Draw, let's see if you guys can see this. A little, like, out swoosh, and then an in swoosh, like that. And out swoosh and then an in swoosh so you'll have your petals. So, do you want to try that? Okay. So, out. Here, ready? Out swoosh, out swoosh in swoosh, out swoosh, in swoosh. There you go. So, you just drew a petal. So, do that a few more times. Out swoosh and in swoosh. Out swoosh and in swoosh. Just gonna connect. Out swoosh and in swoosh. Out swoosh and in swoosh. So, oh. <laughs> it's pointed. What you want to do is you want to just kind of like flow it up. So you see how that side looks better than this side? It's just because you do a little, little, whoa. Oh, like that? Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to draw on our little flower that we have. So you're going to go with your little out swoosh and in swoosh. Out swoosh and in swoosh. And then you're going to draw your first petal. Not really connected, but it works. Maybe you want to erase that and make it a little bigger. Okay. Because you want it to be about that size compared to your petals so that you don't have to draw too many of them. Add swoosh and swoosh. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You'll get the hang of it. So, just, just do that completely around. Yep, completely around. And try to make your petals a little bigger and a little neater. It's weird because it's a circle. You know what I mean? Not really, but I can kind of understand. And the thing about this, your petals don't have to be the same size because it's not the point of it. Just to be a flower. Or a mandala. Yeah. And feel free to move your paper so you're able to draw your flower. Do you see the difference? Do you want to keep practicing on your flower petals? No, I want to try. Okay, that's better. Try to do every petal like that side. No, nope, don't erase it, but keep going. I wasn't gonna. Okay. My eyes. <clears throat> keep going. Okay, Dad, put it in fast forward. Yeah. 
That looks good. Keep going. But weird. You want to retry that? Because you want to go the out swoosh. Like, look at what you want to do when you go out swoosh. You just want to go out a tiny bit. So you see how even that looks a little cool? So then when you do that, you're able to do thinner. Do one more petal. Okay, Dad, put it back into normal mode. Okay, so Anthony's on his last petal. Looks a little nice. interesting, but I've been doing it for a while. So, the next thing that you want to do, so draw a circle up here to practice for this. I sometimes do, let's see, I like do the like yin yang symbol in the middle of it, but I don't always doodle in it. This is just kind of what it looks like that I do, because I don't have one of those here with me right now. But we'll draw that in the middle. So we're going to draw a little circle that's about the same size as that circle. Bigger circle, like the size of that. Don't erase it. It's okay. This circle. Draw that circle up here. There you go. And then what you're going to want to do is go like that. Like a swirly line down. Yeah. A little more here like this. Don't erase it. Just draw another circle. And keep Watch it. me. So you go out and then you swoosh in. Out and swoosh in. Okay. That's good. So draw that here. Now what you want to do is draw a little open white circle here and a little black circle there. So it looks like this. Like that? Yep. I caught myself with Sharpie. Oh well. And then with the white one, yeah. you want to just draw around it but not in the white circle. So, there's like a little mandala that's like on the easier end that you're going to do to make it a little so, fancier. You're going to add a little half bubble, half bubble, half bubble, half bubble, half bubble, half bubble. Is that in between every single one? No, just kind of like that. And leave the points because we're going to do something with the points. Okay. Do you do it on every single side? Yep. Every half two that bubble. connect. Half bubble. Half bubble, half bubble, half bubble, half bubble. Is that enough half bubbles? I don't know, it's your decision. I'm going to do one more layer. Half bubble, half bubble, half bubble. Half bubbles are fun to make. Half bubble. So now once you're done with that, you want to put a circle around all of it, then do a bunch of little lines close together, and you keep doing that till you get completely around. Now you put a circle around that, connecting all of the little lines together, 
Then you put lines farther apart, have a few lines in between them. And once you're done with that, you draw the circle around it like you did for the lines that were closer together. Next, you draw a bunch of U shapes and color them in black. This part is very time consuming, so you might want a thicker marker if you are using markers. But I didn't realize that, and I was already almost done with it by the time I thought that'd be easier. So, start off with a thicker marker, and that'll help. A gap. And now you do little, like, bumps over top of that that are very close to it, but still have white space. And you do that for every single one. And you want to make sure all the lines connect. So it looks like a pretty flower. And once you're done with that, you want to make large bumps that connect the sides, which I didn't do a very good job of, but I think that looks nicer. And so you want to make sure they connect at the bottom where the little hum little like squiggly lines were. And you do that all around. And then after that, you do a petal through like every other petal or however you're able to do it and you do that completely around and it's okay if they don't look perfect because we'll end up drawing around it so it'll be hard to tell so the same thing with the humps once you're finishing up with that you'll want to make sure that it works out with another petal so then after that you're going to do a long um, line in the middle and then two medium size and one short around it so that it looks very pretty. Now you're going to want to do the bubbles that you did earlier on the middle part on all of the sides. Not going up to the point though so we're able to draw dots on the outside of that. So you do that for every single connecting petal and you can make the little bubbles bigger or smaller it just depends on how you like it but if you want to have it turn out like mine you don't make them gigantic or you don't make them tiny this part's more enjoyable than when you do the coloring in for the little upside down use because that you're all doing the same thing so it's more enjoyable and when you do this, I totally suggest listening to music because it makes it go by faster and then you're listening to music so it makes it more enjoyable. So that's what I was doing. So once you get close to your last bubble, you're going to want to find three different kind colors of markers, particularly in thin so it's easier. You're going to draw a pretty big bubble, but not too big. You just want to be going to want to be able to make a smaller bubble in front of that and an even smaller bubble in front of that. And if you'd like, if you didn't want to use black for um, your marker for your big mandala for this whole thing, you can go ahead and use a different marker. But I just prefer to use black. So now you're going to do an even smaller bubble. Not too tiny, because you want a smaller one than that, on all of them. And if you run out of sp space on the paper like I did, because you can see some of them don't have all of the bubbles, then you just leave it that way. And then you do an even smaller, so it's just really small. And that's how you do my mandala. Hope you guys enjoyed! never draw with color. This definitely, I felt like, because what I normally do would make now a, like the flower petal, Anthony, the flower petal like right there, right? But you were struggling a little bit with the